Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael Weston. I really want to show how simple hip hop production can be without compromising the emotion, without compromising the individuality. So this is really like an idea tutorial, how I go from emotion to dumping all of my emotions into Ableton. Here's what I have so far. <music> saying to you that may sound like a corny question but i find myself asking that a lot lately how am i feeling or how do i want to feel so going about this track i knew i wanted to make something that sounded serious something that sounded kind of introspective heavy but not yet too heavy but just a perfect bed of sounds for a storyteller let's get into the first sound so with a little bit of sound design i created this organ in serum and it's really simple y'all the only thing that's going on is the sub oscillator pushed up one octave. There's nothing really going on anywhere else on the main screen other than noise. Um, I have the piano button click here so that the noise is playing to the key. I pull back on the attack a little bit on the sound. Um, and I have some effects back here as well, chorus and reverb. So let me go ahead and turn off chorus and reverb. This is what that sub oscillator sounds like without any effects. Now let's go ahead and add those effects back in. I had chorus, had reverb. Yeah, so just like that, um, the sound sounds a lot more mature. Some other things to note here is my other layers of processing. Like I have Soothe, it's ducking out, you know, harsh frequencies. That's what Soothe is mainly used for. Um, and for this preset, full range mid, mid size, full range piano, excuse me, mid side, I have my EQ8 rolling off a lot of low end and also pushing back on a lot of the high pitch frequencies I have, I have them ducked out as you can see it here. And OTT, OTT, I stand by OTT. I use it in a lot of my productions. As you guys know, I use it as a tone shaper. So it's not going too hard on this sound, but um, let's see if you can even tell the difference. This is it. This is the sound with OTT off. <laughs> Turning OTT on. Yeah, not too harsh, just like how I said. I also have the low end button turned off because I don't want any crazy low end going on um, on that sound. You know, um, I have a bass guitar for that. So I have Portal, basic little preset of Flutter Clouds, and I have Parallel processing with it so so parallel processing I've, I've explained this in other videos but I have pretty much I have the sound split into two so I have the dry sound which is just the keys then I have the wet With the wet turned down about 13 dB, I'm blending the two signals in together. And of course the wet channel is the channel that has portal on it. All right, so um, these chords are played in D flat minor. So minor scales are known to be darker. I love minor scales, especially for like storyteller hip hop. 
I'm not the biggest music theory guy, but I love how Ableton puts all of your scales right in front of you. So I do have an Ableton push in which I'm able to go in and to choose scales. But of course, in Ableton 11, in your piano roll, you can choose a scale. So I went ahead and did that actually on my Ableton push first. And when I did that, I came up with these chords here. I'm just fooling around. You can create chords on Apes and Push by just moving your fingers around. Making triangles is a super easy way. And of course, there's a lot of different, you know, formulas, a lot of different ways to, to make chords. Me, man, honestly, hope this doesn't sound too corny, but I follow my heart. So in doing that and following my heart and following my emotions for real, um, because I'm not a big music theory guy, like how I, I have mentioned in other videos, I was able to come up with this type of chord progression. So those basic chords is what I built the whole melody around. After recording those basic chords, I went into my piano roll and I literally just added extra notes in. And so it's all about just following your ear. Yeah, you can even hear it right there, you know, that da 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 da. You know, just creating movement for the next chord to come in. That extra layer of texture that Portal is adding on top of these keys is even making the chord progression sound way more wavy than it actually really is. Processing can go a super long way. My main melody idea still needs some more support, so I figured why not just grab Grand Piano from Addictive Keys by playing the first two beginning chords of the progression. But this Grand Piano sounds really warm, and that's because I have cassette, basic default preset, home right here, turn down uh, the static, and that's really it, um, but it's definitely, you know, making it sound a lot more warmer. A lot of the low end rolled off with the EQ, you know. Um, after I did add uh, cassette, I did add a little bit more brightness in the EQ, you know, the high end is boosted. I just went ahead and automated the gain. Um, so while I'm playing these chords, I'm holding down the notes, you know. Is, and, and to make it sound a little bit more uh, natural, I have utility utilities gain uh, automated to fade out. And the rules stay the same with the bass line, man. We're staying in key, uh, we're in D flat minor. Pulled up Trillion, the greatest bass VST known to man. And I'm using my new favorite preset, man. Like that TR Reggae Mute True Staccato Fire. Bass lines like this can really add to the bounce. But the key is, is to make sure that the bounce on that bass guitar is very realistic. So I played that uh, quite a few different times and pulling up the piano roll, you can see, man, I got notes hella off grid and it's perfect. Let me play all three sounds together now. drums man my favorite part of production and my approach on these drums was to honestly to make something that's that felt really slick so sound selection was super key here's my kick followed by my favorite rim shot this rim shot is dope man there's something extra going on with it and here's a hi-hat loop And finally, an open hat. Altogether, the vibe is complete.
Thanks for making it this far through the video. Here's a special word from the sponsors. Distro Lock is a new service from DistroKid that protects your music from being stolen and uploaded to streaming services without your permission. In today's ever-evolving digital marketplace, protection of digital assets is top priority. DistroLock provides a free API that allows any music distributor, streaming service, or social network to cross-reference incoming audio with DistroLock's fingerprint database, and then blocks unauthorized releases. Lock in with DistroLock for free with your DistroKid account. Shout out to DistroKid for providing another tool for creators around the world to stay safe. I really wanted to show how you can get unique sound in hip hop. This is only seven sounds like how I mentioned before. The only thing left to do now is just to, you know, arrange this out, um, add some drops. I mentioned adding like a lead synth, maybe, you know, maybe not. Um, once you get a voice on something like this, that might be all you need, you know? So I'm really trying to push out more content. This is like my second video in a week. I wanna see how two videos a week goes for me. Last but not least, stay encouraged and keep making music. My name is Michael Weston and I'm out.